Hi everyone and welcome to the ECG Science Series. This is Hisham Ibrahim, I'm one of the Emergency Medicine Consultants in the United Kingdom and today we're going to continue with another ECG sign which is going to be this PODEX sign. Before we make a start, I'd like to announce here about this course from Zero to Hero in Acute Coronary Syndrome ECG. So this is a new course that is available online now that includes 14 different modules, over 10 hours of ECG videos with regular assessment after each uh, video that covers almost all what I know about acute coronary syndrome ECGs. I think it's full of fun and I think it's going to be really useful. There will be a link to the course in the show notes of this video, so please check it out and see what you think and I'll be really keen to hear your feedback about it. The second and last announcement is going to be our normal EPIC course. That will be a virtual one, one day course and the next one is going to be on the 2nd of December. So to book a place, that will be via Eventbrite and the link is going to be in the show notes as well. So I guess that's more than enough of announcements. Let's move on and start talking about our sign for today, which is this Bodex sign. So this sign has been reported by uh, this cardiology uh, professor, Dr. David Spodek, who sadly died in just a couple of years ago. And over the last few years, there has been more and more reports of this sign in literatures. This is one of the articles that talked about this sign that was published last year. And, um, and I will put a link to this one in the show notes because it's got a really um, some useful information about this sign and uh, what it means. So basically, Spodic sign has been first reported in 1974, and it describes a downsloping of the TP segment in the ECG. So your baseline in the ECG will not be horizontal, it will be downsloping, as you can see in this picture. The, this is probably because there will be a combination of both ST elevation uh, in the ECG, in addition to PR segment depression. And if you link the two dots, the baseline will be downsloping. So that's my understanding about why it happens. And this sign indicates acute pericarditis. So it's one of the signs that are seen in about 30% um, of patients who presents with acute pericarditis ECG. A bit more about this sign. So it's commonly uh, overlooked uh, by the clinician that's been reported as well. And it's best visualized in lead two and in the lateral precordial leads. But from my personal experience, it can be anywhere in the ECG. And although it is uh, mostly seen in pericarditis, it's been reported as not pathognomonic for it. Personally, I've seen it in many cases of early repolarization, and it's been reported in about 5% of STEMI cases as well. So let's have a look at some examples for this. So this was one of my patients who presented with acute pericarditis. And I think now you can appreciate that the baseline, especially in the V4 to V6, is not horizontal, it is downsloping. So that's one example. Here's another one. And again, if you look at lead one, you will notice that the baseline is clearly going down, downsloping. And V4, V5, and V6, again, same downsloping TP segment. So it's definitely not just a horizontal baseline. Another example here with more clear downsloping TP segment in the lateral leads, so V4, V5, and V6. Um, so all showing that downsloping uh, baseline, which is this spodic sign. One more example, uh, and again, more prominent in lead one this time, and you can clearly see that the baseline here is definitely downsloping rather than um, horizontal, and same applies to AVL. So this is what we mean by the spodic sign. So bottom line is, if you see a downsloping TP segment in an ECG that shows diffuse ST elevation and a clinical presentation that suggests um, acute pericarditis, please remember this doctor, Dr. David Spodic, and remember the spodic sign. And this is it about um, this sign uh, this time. So I hope that you find this useful and I'll try my best to talk to you again very soon. Stay safe and bye for now.